this is Blue Leader and we're here in Monterey, California where they have a total of 14 superchargers. Thank you so much for hanging out with us. Please continue to show that support by hitting the like button and the subscribe button so you know what we're doing and where we're going. And if you know anyone that wants to hang out with us, make sure you share the content over with them. So here are my initial impressions of the Monterey, California Supercharger. Initial thoughts. You're in the parking lot, surrounded by trees. You know I love trees. Next to kind of an older looking mall. So that's all I have to say about that. Initial feelings when you're surrounded by trees. I don't know about you, but it gives me totally good vibes. So I've got that total Monterey Peninsula, Monterey vibe uh, thing going on because of the trees. Initial concerns, not too concerned. This is a very safe neighborhood. Even though it looks like the mall could use a little bit of love, uh, there's a farmer's market here on Sunday, so you might want to explore that when you're charging over here. Thank you so much and hang tight for the review. I actually love it. It's so convenient for us. Sometimes we go for grocery shopping while we are charging and this one specifically is super convenient because some, we just leave our car here, walk to the downtown, have our breakfast, come back. Today it's slightly different. I needed to work so I'm working while we are charging and my son is doing his homework. It's surrounded by trees and greens and the envi awesome environment. Yeah, I just love it. Now, if there were no superchargers here, would you still come back to this parking lot? Probably not. I mean, I still haven't fully explored the neighborhood, so I have to know other incentives. Maybe right now I just don't know what else is there. Should Tesla install superchargers in lower income neighborhoods? Definitely. How come? That will allow the people who are on a budget not drive too far and have their car charged easily. Now should Tesla allow other EVs to use its superchargers? Yes, because you know the goal is to not benefit Tesla. The goal is to promote all EVs and that will allow that. So we should definitely do that. Now for Hana, do you charge at home? Yes. Do you have any tips for us? It's super easy. Just if you don't have a charger, simply install it if you own a garage. It doesn't actually cost a lot, first of all. Roughly like 5k or something to do that, to install the charger. So, and city, it's easy to also get the city permit for that. Very good. Why do you supercharge? It's faster. What is the number one thing Tesla should change? Just improve the service a little bit so that people are not like people's time is valuable, so it will help us to efficiently utilize our time. But I know it comes with the cost, it comes with the price for Tesla. Do you have any final words of wisdom for us, Farhana? I can't see the day where EV is everywhere and it helping everybody including the old people who are afraid to drive and taking us to the next level of civilization and technology so i can i see that tesla can make that happen those are really nice things to say for hana i really appreciate your time we'll see you later okay Would you let your seven-year-old drive your Tesla Model 3 on full autopilot? Of course. Because it's not your Tesla. <laughs> I heard that. I heard a voice in Dad? the back say, because it's not your Tesla. Is that true or not true? It's true. It's his dad. It's ours. I mean, it's his dad's car. I, I have a BMW.